Hello. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Don. <laughs> this is my husband, Mike. Hi. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. What's <laughs> the weather like where you hail? Hot. Hot and humid. <laughs> Hot and humid. Where where are you where are you at? We're in eastern Pennsylvania. Okay. I'm in northern Virginia, so it's probably not much much different uh yeah. we're, we're hot today the only saving grace for us is i live on the top of a mountain so the the weather's a little bit more more temperate mm -hmm. some light i see <laughs> we have uh, another person joining us soon we had 21 people sign up today that's the most we've had so far uh hi krista how are you doing today Um, hi. You're not muted, but uh, can you hear me, Krista? Um, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. How okay. are you doing today? Um, I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Where do you hail from? Paris, so you... Texas. Paris, Texas. So hot. Yes. What's the name <laughs> yes. of your salon? <laughs> uh, Super Tan Salon and Spa. Okay. That's great. We're going to just yeah. chat a little bit with, uh, you know, everyone who, as they pop on, we had 21 people sign okay. up this time. Generally, about half the people actually show up, so we might get around 10, but we will start, even though some people will just arrive and we'll, we'll deal with them as they, as they come in. Um, generally, it's not very dis disrupted, disruptive. We had a lot of questions with 21 people signing up and each of you answering three of my questions each. Um, I've tried to kind of combine the questions into groups and then we'll cover some, some of those things. If you have a question, please try to chime in and uh, stop me where I'm at or wait till the end, your choice, but you might um, remember better if you interrupt me and you probably have a question that someone else has as well. So don't uh, be afraid to, to ask a question that you might. Now I have someone who joined us called M. Are you there, M? <laughs> M's screen is black, so I hope M can hear us at least. So I live on the top of a mountain in Front Royal, Virginia. It's absolutely beautiful here. I wanted to host the meeting outside, but I need to use my mouse and keyboard when I'm doing the presentation. And that's just a little bit awkward for me to, to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It's uh, 12.03 here in Eastern time. Um, and I'm gonna just share my screen. And let's just find out if you happen to be in the right place. So are you overwhelmed by working excessive hours? Are you exhausted by the whiners and slackers that you hire? Do you struggle with all the hats that you have to wear? And are you frustrated with poor work ethic these days? Then you might be in the right place. So who am I to host this event? Well. I'm a three-time number one new release author on Amazon. All three of my books, when they were released, they all went to number one um, immediately. They um, Lotion Sales Secret by far is the best-selling book that I have on Amazon right now. I have been hiring uh, superstars and whiners since 1988. So I've been doing this for a little while. And right now, I operate two retail stores. They're both indoor tanning salons, 714 miles away. This morning, on Wednesday, Wednesday is my meetings day. So on Wednesday morning, I met with my two managers and my, I, I have a co-owner. So we, I have, uh, there's two owners and two managers. My co-owner, my business partner, uh, Krista lives in, uh, Austin, Texas. So she has not visited the salons in over seven years. So we have figured out how to operate our stores. 
I haven't visited in almost a year. I'm going to visit in September because we're going to new we're going to do a new we're going to do a, a free tan event, but we're going to do it with a little bit different twist. And I'm going to I'm going to go there and uh, check out the salons, make sure the managers uh, know they have not been left alone. Um, that's important for for your staff to know that you are constantly working with them. And we have our Wednesday morning meetings. And of course, we can we always talk with our managers throughout the week, too, if, as needed. But we have a dedicated time set aside every week that we um, we cover uh, a specific agenda. It changes a little bit each week, but it's how we're, I'm able to live 714 miles away and my business partner lives over a thousand miles away from uh, the salons and it, they generate enough income for both of us to live comfortable lives and pay our staff above industry standards for both managers and uh, our employees. And we do that by using business systems. So. For me, I became a business system and employee turnover reduction expert entirely by accident. Uh, I never intended for that to happen, but as events occur and, and life happens, you have to figure stuff out. And, and we needed to move away from, from the salons and I needed to figure out right away how we were gonna run these stores. So it's amazing if you're running, if you're working in your store right now, it's amazing how quick, you can figure out how to work outside your store if you have to. It's much harder if you don't have to and you want to. If all you have is the desire to do it, it's a lot harder because the motivation just isn't there. You're a little bit afraid. There's a lot of things that happen. But I do have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where that's exactly my main focus is to help salon owners get themselves from working in their salons to working on their salon. So every day I work on my salons and I end up working between five and 10 hours a week on my salons. I have other businesses that I operate as well and I enjoy being outside. Yesterday I played hooky. I went to the mountains next door. We have bigger mountains. Uh, I'm just at the northern end of the Shenandoah National Park. Um, my partner and I have a hike that we like. Um, it was 11 miles, 3,000 foot elevation change. There's waterfalls. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, she and I have been hiking for, for years and we absolutely enjoy being out in nature. And I'm looking out right now at the forest. There's a forest over here. You don't get to see it, but it's there and we absolutely enjoy it. So that's who I am. That's a little bit of my qualifications to be here today to... Uh, talk with you on these various topics. Now, if you look here, this is the spreadsheet on the right side of all the questions that were asked for today's session. The only thing I don't feel competent in is social media. I'm really not very good with social media. That's why I have a younger employee of mine take care of all of that. I do know a few things about social media that just generally do one social media that you can handle. Don't try to do two or three or four if you're going to do them all poorly. Just grab one wherever most of your customers are, figure that out, get it knocked out, and, and do that. The second thing that I learned about social media is that it's social, which means that nine out of your 10 postings should be social. Don't always post you know, I'm selling this, I'm selling that, here's a promotion, here's a sale. Um, it Nine out of 10 posts should just be something, it doesn't even have to be related to tanning, it could be about puppy dogs and whatever. But people engage in those types of things more than they will in your promotions. And then you hit them up with a promotion on the on the template. So they're color-coded, I I combine them together, color-coded them, based on the categories. And then I've got a list on the left here, one by one, we're gonna handle these categories of issues that you guys said that you're having right now. So as promised, I'm gonna start with, I think the thing that most of you came here for, and that is the free TAN event. We have done several, we have been very successful with it. I'll be upfront with you. 
other salons that I've seen on Facebook are much more successful than, than we are. I've learned from them. Um, one of the reasons that I think we're not as successful is because we don't like to give stuff away. We like to sell stuff at full retail. We don't like to do a lot of discounting. And the reason for that is um, if you train your customers to only buy, if you're always having discounts and sales, then you train your customers to only buy when you have discounts and sales. So there are salons out there and I've seen them do 10, 12, $14,000 in sales during free tan event over a three day period where we're doing four and $6,000 over a three day period, but we aren't giving away the house. So our net revenue is probably the same as theirs. So they might be, you know, selling deep discounted tanning package, deep discounted lotion, you know, buy one lotion, get one free type of things. But from my point of view, what happens when you do that is you've sold two bottles of lotion and now it's going to take twice as long for them to go through that bottle of lotion before they buy again. Does that make sense? So we resist the temptation to do deep discounts, but what we will do is um, identify what is the most important thing that you want to sell. For us, the most important thing we want to sell in our salon is our memberships. And the most important membership that we want to sell is our high level, all inclusive, all access membership. So that's what we will promote during the event. That will be our main focus is to sell it. And so what are we gonna do to make that um, tasty for them to buy in that three day event because the main purpose of the event is to bring in new clients and how we do that is we give away free tans if you bring in a friend and the friend does not have to be a new client um, you both can be new clients you both can be existing clients one can be new one can be existing we don't have any limitations on it you come in and we put you in the best equipment. The only thing that we don't give away free is our sunless tanning. We discount it half off for the event. So instead of $45 for our spray booth, it'll be $22.50 for the spray booth during the event. That way we don't have huge lines because we're in a campus town. During the event, the students would be lined out the door doing free spray tans if we we did that. So that's the only reason why we don't. If you're in an area where you can get it again, the, John. What's that? Whoops, sorry. Does that one have a question? All right. So so we we um we don't give away the, the spray tan, so but we will market it like crazy to our existing customers. We'll put room posters. It'll be all over our social media. Um, the event for us will be third week of September. And that's strategic for us for, for various reasons. The students have come back to town. They've, they've got their sea legs. They're not so involved in all the new events and things that are already at the beginning, there's homecoming and blah, blah, blah. So we wanna be past all of that stuff before we we do our, our free tan event. And then what we'll do is it'll be in the room posters. We have a, a an email list of 9,000 emails. So if you don't have an email list, you it's not too late to start getting that's like the best marketing that you can have to be reaching out to your customers again more social than promotion you know just talk about things that are going on give them some tanning advice that you know it's not always about about selling last week i put out an email about why tanning indoors is better than tanning outdoors and we went through a list of you know bugs humidity heat uh, sweats, gawkers, you know, the whole list of things that um, can happen. And then we're going to marry that with the social media campaign that will be, you know, tan indoors and, you know, there's no, no sharks, no mosquitoes, whatever, you know, we threw sharks in there just to be fun, right? Um, nobody's going to expect to have sharks, but uh, there might be some beach tanners who are worried about, about that, but sand and everything else like that. So, that's going to be a full court press. And what we'll do is 
two weeks before the event, we will start just sending out teasers that the event is happening. We're not going to give any details about the event, not even when it's going to happen, just coming soon. That way, people start to get anxious for the event. This is the best way to drive interest in the event. And you're going to have people calling and asking. And it's okay for your staff to tell them more information at that point. But all of the marketing is just going to be tease, 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 tease for the first two weeks. And then the, um, I'm sorry, week um, four and three before the event. And then weeks two and one before the event, then we do, we start dripping some hints, like when is it going to be? What are the promotions going to be? So we'll drip one promotion, you know, and we'll do that for a couple of days and second promotion. And so this is the this is the time when we violate our nine social posts for one promotion post. So we're going to do a full court press for four weeks um, where we're promoting the free tan event. Promote, 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 promote. Because you have to recognize, I mean, it's just like with this event. When I started promoting it just uh, four or five weeks ago, I only had a couple people show up the first time. Then I had four or five people show up the second time and then, or, or um, register. And, you know, today I had 21 people register for the event. So it, it just takes a while for people to, to figure things out. It just, it's just the nature of the beast. But we discovered that if you go too early, then they lose interest. Um, so that's part of the reason to start with the teasers because you you keep them interested just with the teasers. Then two weeks, the two weeks before the event. So four weeks before the event, you do two weeks of teasers. Then two weeks into the event, uh, before the event, you start to drip uh, more and more information. So some of the other things that we will do is we'll bundle some things together. The, the, what we don't do is we don't, Again, like I said, we don't discount indoor tanning lotion, but we will bundle a body wash with a lip balm, with a face, with a, you know any of these ancillary products that they are harder for us to sell. And we'll we'll try to well, we will put a bundle together at a at a good price so that they can um, sample these other things and hopefully get hooked on them so that later they'll buy them at full price. For the celebrity club, what we'll do is we'll come up with a couple things that we're gonna give away with the membership. It might be the body wash with a tan extender. Although we don't like to give away tan extenders for the same reason we don't like to give away indoor tanning lotions because a customer can use a tan extender as an indoor tanning lotion. It has all the same good quality ingredients in there. So if you want them to buy indoor tanning lotion, don't give away um, a tan extender. If for example, they buy a bottle of lotion and then you get a free tan extender, don't do that. Do a bottle of lotion with a face, do a bottle of lotion with a leg, do a bottle of lotion with a, a body wash something that they can't use as a full body um, tanning lotion. So th that's just some of the philosophy. So that's the free tan event. And it, it's in this 31 page document. It's a great resource. This document on the left, the laser focus mastermind document, you will get a copy of this. There will be a link to this video, the Zoom video for you to rewatch again, if you want to. I'll put that in the document as well. And you'll have all these links to the stuff that I'm talking about here today. Some of the stuff is free, like the free tan event, the cash for clunkers. And then I have some books on Amazon that are going to answer some of your questions that are um, the cost of a couple cups of coffee at Starbucks. Well worth, well worth the investment. So that's the free tan event. Now, a lot of you had questions about how do I get my employees to engage? How do I train? How do I sell more lotions? These are all in a similar category. And what I want to just do a little self-promotion here, and that is this, um, this book right here, Lotion Sales Secrets. It's on Amazon. There, th this book has been wildly successful. 
extremely in high demand um, in for salon owners. If you don't have this, we have a copy for all of our employees to take home so that they can continue to learn on their own. We ask them, we do, so question about training. We train every other week. So if payday's on Friday, our training meeting is on Sunday. By the way, when I'm in town, we're gonna have a training meeting on Saturday because that's when the taco truck is open and we're gonna have a team meeting uh, in front of the taco truck on Saturday. So you can do fun things like that with your with your staff. So I'm excited about um, getting to town and being able to treat my staff to tacos. And then we'll have a meeting there in their outdoor venue right there, which is gonna be pretty awesome. So lotion sales secrets will help you maximize your lotion sales. And one of the things in lotion sales secrets that we talk about is how to handle um, online diversion. And there's a couple ways, a couple techniques in the book. And one of them is this cash for clunkers program where you basically tell your customers, and we only do this a couple times a year. We used to do it all the time. It used to be a standing policy. And I think when we moved to just doing it a couple times a year, it became special. And so that way, um, when it was time for cash for clunkers, then the customers, you know, they get excited about it. And here's, here's how it works. Here's how we do it. You can do it any way you would like to, but this is the poster. We put it up in all the tanning rooms and you're going to get a link to this poster. There's no branding on here on purpose so that if you want it, you can use it as it is. If you're great with Canva or some other graphics program, you can create your own. You'll notice that the lotion bottles are all nondescript. We're not, we don't discriminate about what lotion. If you want to bring Jergens in and we'll give you 25% off a bottle of lotion. Now I've seen salons go as high as 50%. I would never do that. But this is a great way to encourage customers to not buy on Amazon, not buy on Walmart, but to bring uh, anything in that they're using, even if they bought it at Walmart. You know, the uh, their new lotion at Walmart is that black AF uh, lotion that we've seen at, at Walmart. It, I don't I don't care what you bring in, um, but what we'll have is a container on the counter. Now, we don't put anything on our counter. Counters are clean. Nothing is on the counter. Super clean. We don't, we want to look super professional, but during this promotion, we'll put a container. It's clear or it could be a mesh basket where the customers are throwing in their clunkers and, and that generates conversation. So when a customer comes in and they see a basket or a container of clunkers, and it's, it's good if it's see-through so they can see what's in it, then the conversation starts. Oh, that's our cash for clunkers. What is that? Well, you bring in any lotion. We don't care what it is. We're going to give you 25% off an indoor, a bottle of indoor tanning lotion. And if a member already has a discount, we'll double the discount. So it'll be a discount on top of a discount so that the members get a chance to, to do that. And that's in the book. It's described in the book. Um, and I'm going to give you a link to the cash for clunkers here. And then another thing that we do to control diversion is all um, beauticians, if they're licensed, we give them 40% off because we know that they can go to any supply house and buy lotions at about 40% off retail. So we'd rather give, even though we're not going to make much money, if any, because we have to pay employees commission and um, shipping and you know uh, shrinkage, there's a whole lot of other expenses related to selling lotion. It's not just what you paid for the lotion minus what you sold it for. But we don't mind because we'd rather that these beauticians, one, that they buy from us, and two, they have a lot of clients who overlap and they're likely to refer their clients to us um, because we've treated them well, then they will enjoy uh, sending clients here. So that's item number two here, lotion sales secrets and cash for clunkers. The links are gonna be in this document so you'll have access to those things. Now, some of you have talked about employee issues. We got quite a few people with recruiting or hiring or retaining employees. This is my expertise. This is the area for which I excel. It's the first book that I wrote. It's called Recruit, Hire, and Retain Superstar Employees. 
if you want to know how to find employees, if you want to know how to hire them and how to keep them, this is a must book for you. Um, it It's a no nonsense book. There's not fluff in here. It, it goes from one practical idea to the next practical idea to the next practical idea on how to find employees. Like where do I um, do job postings? And I'm also, because I'm a small business owner like you, I'm always trying to find things that cost little or nothing. So I give you in there how to advertise for job postings for free. I, I, I never pay for, for job postings. And then one of the things that I think all of you should do is you should have a place on your website where someone can employ. We are we are hiring 24 seven. We, we never stop hiring. And if a superstar comes across our doors, we find a place for them. Um, even if we have to set someone else free. And that's a term that I use that I've coined in my book. We don't fire people. And the reason for that is a lot of people have heartburn with firing. Like it's really hard for them. And in the book, we show you how to set your employees free where you understand that it's, it's the best thing for both you and the employee. It's a much kinder way to think about hiring employees. But all of that is covered in the Recruit, Hire, Retain. Uh, you will read this book in two hours and then you'll just be gobbling things up and wanting to immediately start implementing some of the things in this book. Now, the final thing uh, today that I want to cover in, in some detail is a lot of you are worried about Jason. A lot of you are worried about meeting your money requirements. Some of you are worried about making payroll. Uh, some of you are worried about um, uh, these uh, apparently uncontrollable external expenses. So I, I wrote this book called Winning the Recession because I was anticipating that we would be deep into a recession right now. It didn't happen we, we are in a recession, but it's not so deep as a lot of people thought. But if you think about a recession, really indoor tanning salons go through a six month recession every year, okay? July through December is a recession. And if you apply these principles in your salon, you will make those six months a lot easier. So some of the things in here talk about how to increase your revenue. So there's some revenue creating ideas in here. But my favorite part of the book is the 14 ideas on how to cut expenses. And why is that so important? If you think about an expense, you have at the top of your profit and loss statement, your revenue. And down below are all these annoying expenses that eat away at your revenue. When you get to the bottom, you have what is called your net revenue before taxes, right? Before the tax man takes out its portion. So you have your gross revenue, your gross expenses, and then you have your net revenue. And, and if you're lucky down here, you're, you're making a, a 20, 25% profit, right? You've paid yourself. One of the expenses has to be paying yourself, right? So if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, you're, you've got 20, 25%. I'm not making that much anymore in profit after we pay the owners and all the employees. Maybe we've got a 10 or 15% profit margin, but I'm happy with that um, because I can't get 10 or 15% in the bank. Um, nowhere am I am I generating 10 or 15% re return on my money. So, but what happens if I cut a dollar out of the expense line? That whole dollar drops right to the bottom into the owner's pocket. So for every dollar that you cut in an expense, it goes right into your bank account. There's no other, there's no other money besides the tax man who's gonna take away from there. Whereas if you, you put a dollar at the top, you add an extra dollar of revenue, it has to get filtered by all those expenses. And then it might be between 10 and 20 cents down here when you get to the bottom finally. So you still got to increase your revenue. You got to find ways to increase revenue, but it's very important that you 
cut your expenses. And that's what you're going to get in winning the recession. Since 1988, I've, I've seen a lot of downturns. And um, I have put into this book the things that you need to learn on how to um, cut those expenses uh, from labor to utilities. Oh, yeah, I just ate my own dog food recently. Uh, in in May, I I went out. One of the techniques in here is to go out and shop your utilities, your electricity. And I shopped my electricity, and my my bills went from about two thousand dollars a month per store to about twenty one hundred in one store and fifteen hundred in another store. Um, the bigger store went down to twenty one hundred dollars. So that's money now every month that is going to go into the owner's pockets because it's not getting filtered by anything else. Um, so shop your utilities. That's one of the things in there. That that there right there is going to um, more than pay for the $15 that you will spend on that book. Now, if you want to continue the conversation after here, join our Facebook group. I'll give you the link for that. And I want you to leave you with this quote from Peter Drucker. He says, you can't improve what you don't measure. What do I, I mean by that? Well, one of the things that I do for my one-on-one -on -one coaching customers is I have a spreadsheet here that I help them identify what numbers, what key metrics they should be following based on what you want to improve. So here, these are my celebrity clubs up here. We were, in February, we were up 82% on our celebrity clubs. That was not an accident. We wanted to increase our our all access sales to our all our sales to our all access memberships. And the only way we can do that is we had to measure how much we were selling, how much we were, how much we are selling, how much we were selling, and then come up with ideas on how do we do it. And we completely changed our pricing structure. And then just recently, we completely changed it again so that we can even increase more celebrity club sales. And I'll let you know, because we just made the change, how successful we are with that. But the funny thing, this one change here, you know what we did? We changed our price best membership at the top. Before we had our level one at the top of our price sheet. We switched it around so that our best membership was at the top of the price sheet. And we instructed the employees, start with the best. Don't assume the customer wants the lowest one. Assume they want the best. And that went into our training. We just drilled it every other week. Drill, drill, drill. And that's how we got an 82% increase in our openings. So if there were things we didn't get to cover today that you wished, uh, your first call with me one-on-one -on -one is free. It's a 30 minute free call. It's a coaching session. There's not gonna, you know, there's no pressure to join the process. You could get a lot out of just the, the first session, but I recommend it. There will be a link here in this document. You're all gonna get this document. You're all gonna get the links to all of the stuff that we talked about today. Whoo, that's a lot of information. You probably feel like, uh, garden hose just spraying you with so much information in 30 minutes. Do any of you have any questions? You'll have to unmute yourself if you have a question. All right, well, if we don't have any questions, uh, I'll conclude here. Thank you very much for attending. You're always welcome to come back to these live masterminds. Quite often we repeat the same stuff because all the salon owners have the same pain points, but sometimes I uh, add a little extra twist or something else because of a specific question that they, uh, or you guys are asking. And I try to each session based on the bulk of the questions that are asked during the session. So with out uh, any more questions and i'll end the call today look forward to the email today it'll come later today i'm pretty quick about getting it out and uh, the replay will be there and also all the links to the free goodies and the links to the links that you can buy on amazon again thank you guys all very much have a great day thank you
Thanks. Bye now.